the blend space editor is seeing some improvements and usability updates in Unreal Engine 4.18. So let's go ahead and cover a few of those. One of the biggest ones was recently they added the green indicator here to show a preview of where it's at on your timeline, basically, where it's at and during your blend. Now, prior to 4.18, we had to hold down the shift button and it would show you a preview. And it made it really simple. But to make it even easier now, like everything else that you can drag, you can now click on it itself and drag it. So no more having to hold down shift to preview. You can actually click and drag, and it makes it easier to move it and more intuitive. Small change, but it is appreciated. Something else that was changed. The show menu at the top has now been organized. Rather than one giant list where you had to figure out which was what, they've now been organized into categories. So our mesh things, animation, bones, clothing, and advanced. All the same options are here. It's just a nice, more organized layout. There are now tool tips to assist you for the first time you are creating a blend space. So let's go ahead and create an asset. We're going to create a where's that blend space right here, and we'll create a brand new blend space. We will slap in our content directory, just hit OK, and here's our new generic blend space. You'll notice at the top it now tells us what to do. It's content sensitive help, and it will go away as needed. So drag and drop animations. Okay, let's add our walk in here. We'll put it here. Click and drag or hold shift to move the preview pin. Okay, so it's a small change, but it's a nice quality of life feature. Now you notice I dragged in a walk. So let's say I have another walk here. Now these are both the same name, third person walk and third person walk. However, they are two different walks in two different directories. Previously, if you were to pull on your animation names here, it would show you the names of them, but no indicator of which was which. Now your blend samples are organized with a numeric number following the name. So 0, 1, if I was to add another one, let's say idle down here, it'll show 2, etc, etc. So now you can more easily tell which animations are associated with which blend samples. And that's it. Those are a few of the changes to our blend space editor to give us a little bit more usability and functionality.